Welcome back to Local 4 Today and your Wellness Wednesday. Lung cancer is among the top cancers in the United States, and early detection for those at risk could mean the difference between life and death. Our Alyssa Harrington caught up with the Nebraska Cancer Specialist about lung cancer screening options. Well, no one wants to hear the word cancer, but if we do, it's best to catch things earlier than later. Dr. David Crockett is a Nebraska cancer specialist and joins me now. And the topic today is lung cancer. So thank you for joining us, doctor. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so first, um, when talking about lung cancer screenings, how do those work? Well, generally, it's a simple procedure where someone goes through a low-dose CT scan ordered by their primary doctor. Okay. This is done without contrast, without sedation, mm -hmm. and it's fairly easy uh, to do. So why are these important then? It's probably a lot of times talking about early detection, but maybe just detection in general? Right. So finding a lung cancer specifically in a much earlier stage means that it's going to be more treatable and easier to survive if it's detected early. Okay. Who are those that um, are wanting to be thinking about getting a specific um, lung cancer scan or screening? Well, there are certain eligibility requirements, mm -hmm. and you have to be between the age of 50 and 80. You have to be either a current smoker, um, sometimes this can be a heavy smoker or even a light smoker, and mm -hmm. Even those that have quit smoking within the last 15 years can qualify for lung cancer screening. Okay, and then when you say qualify, is that through insurance or is that just in general having a screening? Right, so this is a procedure that is well covered by insurance plans for mm -hmm. the most part, including Medicare Part B, which a lot of people carry. Okay, um, and then when it comes to these screenings, you mentioned 50 and older. What about those that might have um, a family history of lung cancer or that maybe um, did smoke for, you know, maybe 20 years even and then quit or those that lived in secondhand smoke growing up, things like that. What about people in that demographic? As of right now, people with a family history of lung cancer or exposure to secondhand smoke generally don't qualify. But if you've quit smoking within the last 15 years and are a non-smoker, you still could get a low-dose CT scan done every year. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what about, say, people who uh, might be having some symptoms? What would be things that would be symptomatic um, that they would want to come in and start talking to you about? Well, anytime you're having symptoms of coughing up blood or having more trouble breathing, that's something that you want to address with your primary care doctor. The goal of this, though, is to find people without symptoms, mm -hmm. thinking that they're doing fine, um, and you would never know an early stage lung cancer could be lurking. Right, and like you said, it's a lot of times perhaps those people um, who are smokers but think, oh, I'm fine, I don't have any issues. Um, maybe perhaps then if they do go in and things are looking a little dicey, could this be um, maybe a way for them to start looking at, okay, maybe it's time to quit? I think it does provide a teachable moment, um, mm -hmm. and studies have shown that people that do take that positive step towards their health and get this low-dose CT scan um, are more likely to quit smoking. And, you know, it's always good to do that better late than never. Right. And then if people um, who do qualify, they'd like to get more information, um, can they call in, a website, can they get registered there? How do they go about getting signed up? Generally, it's as simple as bringing it up with your primary care doctor, you know, mm -hmm. making sure that you qualify. Um, they're the ones that usually place the order. At Nebraska Cancer Specialists, we do offer that as well. Uh, but usually it's for people that are already one of our patients that have other things going on, too. Sure. Okay. Well, lots of great information and very important things to be thinking about for a lot of our viewers. So thank you so much, Dr. Crockett. Thanks for having me. Yes.